I think that means there are certain diseases that people have only them can actually do something they are the only one that can actually cure themselves but though they like to go to the doctors all the time to get drugs hmm I wonder how that works now <laughs> Welcome, welcome, welcome back again. Now let me actually make sure that my mic is working. Okay, it's working, so you can hear me. This is again your host, Mario Michel. Today's topic. We are continuing with the same chapter, part 3, and again, I just forgot the title, oh no, I didn't forget now, diseases that begin in the mind, I almost forgot it, but thank you Lord, I didn't forget. So, shall we begin? Let's begin. Some sick because they lack willpower. Okay. So right out the bat, we already know that the reason why some, some people are actually us the reason why some people are actually sick, I have that tendency of talking too fast where I don't even know what I say sometimes. So I have to repeat it sometimes in a slower motion. So some people don't even have willpower. I wonder how and why that would be a case. But it's okay. In journeying, I I have met many who are really sufferers through their imaginations. Hmm. They lack willpower to rise above and combat disease of body and mind and therefore they were held in suffering bondage. I frequently turned from the bedside of these self-made invalids saying to myself dying by inches dying of indolence a disease which no one but themselves can cure. The Health Reformer, January 1871. Mm, let's see. I don't know what I can say on that one because it just looks pretty strange to me how it happens but it's kind of interesting I think that means there are certain diseases that people have only them can actually do something they are the only one that can actually cure themselves But though, they like to go to the doctors all the time to get drugs. Hmm, I wonder how that works now. But let's move on. Let's move on. Let's move on. Oh, too much. Importance of sound minds and sound bodies. Okay. So, we were looking at chapter 1, talking about the importance of st to study the mind. 
I guess once you understand how the mind operates, you know when you have sound minds and sound bodies. As we saw earlier, as we saw earlier in the previous section. Mental and moral power is dependent upon the physical health. Children should be taught that all pleasures and indulgences are to be sacrificed which will interfere with health. If the children are taught self-denial and self-control, they will be far happier than if allowed to indulge their desires for pleasure and extravagance in dress. Extravagance is dress. You know, English is my, is my third language, so if I don't say it right, it's okay. Ah, uh, let's see. Good health. Oh, oh, no. Good health, sound minds, and pure hearts are not made of the first import are not made of the first importance in households. Many parents do not educate their children for usefulness and duty. I will do that. They are indulged and petted until self-denial to them becomes almost an impossibility. They are not taught that to make a success of Christian life, the development of sound minds in, in sound bodies is of the greatest importance. Review of Herald, October 31st, 1871. In this case, uh, I myself don't really quite don't really quite understand everything that just I just read right now. So if you're in the same boat with me, then I feel your pain. And since I'm not too sure exactly what to comment on that. I'm just going to move on because I'm not going to try to make time and not make time but um, say things that are not um, appropriate. And don't forget, this is my opinion. So you may want it or not want it. But let's move on. Children who are pressed too hard too early Okay, so we have two extremes. We have the so-called free parent style, I guess that's how you call it. And we have the, the, strict, the strict parents or free range parent. We have the free range parenting and we have the strict parents parenting. I think there should be in a, in a middle case, there should be a middle ground on those two. But let's see what that one, let's see what she has to say on this aspect. In the schoolroom, the foundation has been to surely laid for diseases of various kinds. Okay, so it, is, it appears as most of the time if you are in the schoolroom, and I mean, and I think she's been mentioning that a lot. It's not just schoolroom, but that are not properly ventilated. So if it's in a room that is closed, I mean, of course, in her time, there weren't any AC and things like that. So if the if the room was just plain, no windows to let the air come in and the sunshine to come in, then that was bad. But now we have better technology in a sense but it's still better to have the fresh air often than just the AC or the heater except if it's cold but more especially the most delicate of all organs the brain has often been permanently permanently injured by too great exercise 
and the lives of many have been thus sacrificed by ambitious mothers. Of those children who have apparently had sufficient force of constitution to survive this treatment, there are very many who carry the effects of it through life. The nervous energy of the brain becomes so weakened that after they come to maturity, it is impossible for them to endure much mental exercise. The force of some of the delicate organs of the brain seems to be expanded, and not only has the physical and mental health of children been endangered by being sent to school at too early a period, but they have been the losers in a moral point, point of view. Healthful Living, page 43 and page 44. That was a long paragraph. I kid you not. Um, so, what basically she just mentioned right now is, um, is, a uh, is, a uh, how do I say that? The idea of Sometimes we, 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 we exercise the brain way too much. People uh, you study way too much and you don't really take time for the physical attribute. And so that may have an effect on the body. Um, what else? What else? Uh, it sometimes does it doesn't help anyone to I guess to get better in a sense because it 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 it's been pushed upon children at a very young age and since that's what they've been used to then even when they get older you tend to see them wanting to stay indoors and now, even worse, with all this technology that we have, and cell phone, and TV, and I mean, think about it, the, the, the game, they, they, did you know some people, some people actually spend 48 hours without sleeping because they are just playing? That's insane. And you wonder how disease come upon them that fast. Well, it's because of what they are doing. So it begins in the, in the school at a young age. Like I went to school when I was, what, three years old? I was already in, uh, I guess, either in kindergarten, yes. We don't, I don't think we have, we have Godry, or it's like a way where you just leave your children. But then at three, I was already in kindergarten, but from three to six, that's the, the age. And my, I remember my room, we had windows. We had some windows and we could feel the air coming in. I mean, in every single school that I had, there was windows and there was air and breeze coming in. So it wasn't a closed room. That's just what I had when I was growing up. But other than that, at home, it's the same thing. You know, it's coming through. So that's probably why I, my health is a lot better than most people. But I also like to stay outside too. Uh, I, as much as possible, even if it's cold. So... But um, I hope that everybody understands that the importance of not staying um, closed in, closed door, inside of the home too much and go out more in the open air and get some sunshine. Even if it's cold, I'll try to go out, get some fresh air because that would be good for you. Anyways, guys. This was Mother Michelle. I'm going to try to keep it as 
short as possible from now on maximum 15 minutes so i hope to see you guys again but if i don't see you guys again i hope to see you when jesus christ comes the second time until then bye for now mother out